people. What's up, YouTube channel? How y'all doing out there? I appreciate y'all watching me. I appreciate everything y'all do in this world. Yo, we're going to talk about dog business because it is a business. No matter what you say, it is a business. It's a business. It's a business that you're selling dogs, selling puppies. It's a business. It's a business that you got to watch out for. It's a business that you got to learn, right? I'm going to teach y'all. The dog business, right? It's, it's a product, right? People get mad when you sell. What's up, bro? How you? Yo, dog business is a product. It's a value. It's a it's a life. It's all of that, right? So you got to take care of it. It costs money to take care of. It costs money to house these animals, right? It costs money for a lot of things. So you think about it, right? Right? You have shots. You have... Um, you have... The wear and tear of the house that you have them in, the wear, the air conditioner, you know, the heat, you know, to make your dog comfortable while living in this stuff. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? But yo, listen, another thing, man. People keep saying, yo, let me come by, let me come by, man. My kennel, my breeding farm. Is closed to the public. I'm gonna tell you why. You got railroad people that will rail you, railroad you for a case, lion case. You got people that will steal your puppies while you gone. You understand? Break into your shit. You got people do the most extreme things. Extreme things. So you think about it, right? You got to be careful with human. Humans, the most evilest animals in the world. The most evilest animals in the world. Think about it. So you got to be careful with these humans that's trying to buy you a dog. You got to scream them out. It's like a background check, you know? Like when you go to a job, they ask you, yo, can we do a background check? So you got to think about this, right? I want three references. I want a letter of why you want the dog. I want an application before you, you know, and we are bringing you the dog. That's me. I want to know where you live at. <laughs> For real. Yeah, everybody is not everybody. Is These people will railroad you for a lion-ass case. Serious. That's how the world is. It, it will set you up, you know. It will do wrong to you. That's that's how the world is. The world is evil. And you got to watch out for these evil son of a, you know what? So you got to think about that, right? So bringing people to your location, right? And they know where you at, right? They will watch you leave shit like that and rob you. When you got haters, you, you're going to have this shit. Yeah, they go too far. They will poison your dog. <laughs> All kinds of shit. Just because you got haters. So you got to be careful with these people. When they, when they say, yo, I'm not doing no, I'm not giving you no application. I'm not doing that. Something's wrong with that person. Serious. Something's really wrong with that person. If they not willing to give you three references, a letter why you want the dog, and stuff like that. When they you gotta think about these people, you gotta think outside of the box, man. Cause there's a lot of fuckery in the dog business. From me breeding dogs for a long ass time. Long ass time. There's a lot of fuckery. In this dog business. I'm just putting game on y'all. I'm trying to teach y'all the dog business, right? 
when you have people don't want to do none of this, no put no application in, no um, screen these people, give you pictures of their family, give you pictures of them, you know, you got to watch out for them people. Real facts. You got to watch out for them people. You got to screen these people because there's a lot of people will do wrong to you because you have dogs. They will set you up. They will try to do all kinds of things. I learned my lessons three times, man. I, yo, three three strikes you out. So I le- I learned this. So when when a person asks me, I block them. Yo, can I come by? If you ain't putting that application, if you're not putting that three references, if you ain't doing that, you're not doing nothing. I don't care. I'll keep my bag on puppies. I'm on a hundred acres. Good morning, Tom. How you doing? I would keep my dogs. Ain't no problem. No problem. That no problem with me. You know, about to get another acres. Think about getting these. I said 10 acres. I'm about to cop very soon also. So think about this, right? Doesn't matter if you buy a dog from me or not. You understand what I'm saying? But all my dogs get tested for hard elbows, everything. And you get I guarantee, real facts. Yo, you got to go to www.oldbulldogs.com, go to the contact us, fill out the application, and simple as that. That's how you, that's how I do it. I don't know how other these other people do it. These backyard breeders, they just sell dogs and don't understand the, the product because it is a product. Puppies is a product. Dog is a product. It's a product. You selling a product. It's like this. Like I'm at the car dealership. You understand? I'm at the car dealership. I just bought me a 2019. I'm at the car dealership. It's a product. This is a product. These are products. Simple as that. Real product. It's a product. And y'all got to understand that. Animals is a product. So I give you life guarantee on all my dogs and puppies. Every last one of them. Ain't no other body doing this. My dogs cost top dollars. Because I got to pay for the lights. I got to pay for their shots. I got to pay for all their medical bills. And I got to keep up the um, shed they in. Maintain the shed they in. Maintain the kennels. Buy new kennels. Buy new setup. Stuff like that. Knock down the old setup. Put them in the new setup. Shit. Yo, a building, right? A big ass shed building costs about 30 grand. 100K. Some of them cost mad 50 by 50. 12 by 30. Shit costs money. Shit is not cheap. I don't have my dogs on the ground on chains and and have a little dog house. That's not me. Dogs, they have AC and air conditioning and stuff like that. You know, certain dogs need to be on in a kennel on a chain. Certain dogs need, because they be biting on wood. You know, that costs money to fix also. Serious like that. They chew on wood. So people get understand, right? We got understanding to people. We understand you love your animals and you have them roaming around your damn yard or running around your, in your house. You can have any type of dog, but a bulldog, they will fucking bite on wood. They will bite on fucking chairs. They will bite on, I'm talking about bulldogs and masters. It's still a bulldog. Yeah. These animals will do the... <laughs> The craziest. They will bite on walls, chew on walls. You give them chew toys. You give them. You give them all of this shit. You give them everything, right? Chew, and they will still bite on your wood. Real facts. That's what a bulldog will do. But yo, I'm just here to take teach y'all about the dog business, and teach you understanding. Watch these people in this world, man. There's a lot of haters. There's a lot of evil people. Y'all have a blessed day, man.
appreciate y'all watching. www.oldbulldogs.com. Have a nice day. 843-688-843-688-5098-347-2729. Wait a minute. Sorry. 347-272-9141. Y'all have a blessed day.